Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to the channel. Today we're going back to product reviews. And today I'm gonna to go ahead and review Wi-Fi backup camera that works on your cell phone. This is something that has caught my eye multiple times on Amazon, has caught my eye multiple times online, and has finally prompted me to buy it. Today I'm gonna to tell you guys whether or not this actually works and whether or not it's worth your money. And due to the increased volume of products that I'm gonna be reviewing, I'm gonna give them a score at the end of the video. Yes, Doug, I'm copying off of you. So let's talk about what comes inside the Wi-Fi car camera box. First, you have a user's manual, which is pretty basic. I mean, the instructions are pretty clear. There's no vagueness to it, and it's pretty simple. Besides the instruction manual, you get this little transmitter. This little transmitter has a giant reset button right here. It has a power and a link LED lights to tell you when it has power and when it's linked to the actual phone. And then it has three plugs coming off of it. The yellow plug is gonna connect to your pre-existing backup camera. The red plug is gonna connect to your pre-existing backup camera power source. So if you guys haven't done that yet, it's pretty simple. This plugs into here, and then this goes to your positive and your negative of your backup camera, leaving this last red cable. This last red cable is gonna plug into the backup camera itself. Also, what's included inside the box are two zip ties. So in case you guys want to zip tie this somewhere, you can. Now let's go ahead, install this inside the car and see if it actually functions. So the ease of install is really, really easy. It was all plug and play. Since I already had the pre-existing wires at my location, I just unplugged them and plugged the receiver right to it. Now we're gonna go ahead and temporarily leave this on here like this. We're gonna close the trunk and then we're gonna simulate how well does this function when the vehicle is put into reverse. Let's get inside the car and show you part two, which is setting up your phone. Now that we are inside the car, we're gonna go ahead and put the car into reverse, leave our foot on the brake, and then we're gonna set up the Wi-Fi part of the install, which is pretty simple. You go to the Wi-Fi AV app and then you type in the password one two three four five six seven eight connect and then you just wait for it to obtain the ip address and there we go we're connected we have no internet access signal strength is fair excellent now it's excellent so that's good and then we're going to go ahead and open up the actual app itself and look at the <laughs> the actual app works but check out that quality the quality is so bad the resolution is horrible and it's not my backup camera my backup camera has an excellent resolution it's actually the bit rate that the app is sending it to to save on speed it's compressing the image down to allow it to transmit so let's go ahead put this up here and see how well does it transmit in real time starting to move the car into reverse and as you guys can see, there is definitely a lag factor to it. It's kind of like playing uh, Call of Duty and someone has a really, really bad bandwidth. But it does function. It does function to the point where I can see what's going on behind me. Is it something that I would trust with this lag? No. As you guys can see here, I'm coming up to this bush. And that took a long time for it to tell me that I was getting close to that bush. Let's go ahead put it in drive move the car up again and see how well does it function if we go back into reverse again all right so here we are we're gonna go back into reverse and nothing happened let's see why did this happen we're gonna go ahead and take a look I have a feeling it has to do with the Wi-Fi Yes, as you guys can see here, it logged out of the Wi-Fi of the app and it uh, pushed me back onto the phone's cellular network. And it's obtaining the Wi-Fi signal now. So if this is something that uh, you guys want to install in your car, it's something that you're gonna have to keep in mind that you're gonna have to turn off your cellular data 
and it's going to have to slow, uh, solely link off of that Wi-Fi because each time you go out of park and into reverse, it's going to disconnect and reconnect into the Wi-Fi. But now it should be connected and we should be able to see what's going on behind us. And sure enough, as soon as it reconnected, we were able to establish our signal again and we can start going backwards. But as you guys can see, the lag, the latency on this is pretty bad. It's something that I would definitely not trust myself to drive with. But it does function. So I do give the uh, product some credit, but here we go again. This is a perfect example. The car is back in drive. The screen is frozen on this. And as soon as I go put it back into reverse, it will not let me do it. Let's go ahead, put it back into reverse. Nothing. Let's see if we go here. Now it's actually blocked off all the buttons. So yeah, you have to exit the app each time, reconnect to the Wi-Fi of the backup camera, and then you have to go from there back into the actual app itself for it to function. So that is extremely annoying. Now we're going to go ahead and rank the product. First, in terms of style, while this is not winning a beauty contest, I do feel that they could have gone with a smaller package and had a better result, so I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. Durability. It is made out of plastic, but at the same time I feel it was cheaply assembled, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a 5 out of 10. Features. The box says you can connect multiple of these cameras all to one app, but the fact that you have to exit and re-enter and connect to multiple Wi-Fi's and struggle with the app seems like it's a nightmare. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 2 out of 10. Not to mention all the video quality is downgraded to 480p. User friendly. It is user friendly to install, but the app itself again is the Achilles heel of this product. And with this horrible app, I feel that the maximum score I can give it is a 2 out of 10. Price. For $50, I expected a lot more of this product, and I didn't get that. I see a lot of products on the market that are priced at this point that offer better features and function better. So I'm going to have to give it a 2 out of 10, leaving this product an overall score of 14 out of 50. I'm going to go ahead and tell you my overall impression of the Wi-Fi car camera, and I'm not sold on it. I think that it's a nice idea. It's just poorly executed. I think it could have been handled a lot better if maybe they would have put it on Bluetooth signal or maybe they would have added another power inverter into the vehicle to give it constant Wi-Fi signal. But then you wouldn't be able to access any data on your phone while you're driving, which may or may not be a good thing or bad thing if those of you are afraid of texting and driving and all that stuff. But my overall impressions, like I said, are not good for this thing. Um, I think that it needs a lot of improvement. Those of you guys that are interested in purchasing this product should be a little bit on the leery side on the use of it and the safety. I mean, you guys could be going backward. Somebody could walk right between you and you never notice until you run them over. And seconds later, the screen would switch over to the person lying on the ground. So it's not something that I would use. It's something that I would install in any of my vehicles on a commercial level but it's a great little toy and that's what i'm going to call it it's a little toy and it's probably useful to some people but not useful to me and with that being said guys i'm going to go ahead and give this product away because i don't have any use for it and maybe somebody out there does have a use for this product if you guys are interested in winning this product go ahead leave a comment down below tell me the car you're going to be installing this on or the vehicle you're going to be installing this on and when we get to 5,000 subscribers I will contact you and you will win this and of course if this video helped you out in any way shape or form give it a thumbs up it lets me know that I'm doing a good job and those of you guys that are interested in content like this or working on my Mercedes project subscribe to the channel I would love to have you as part of the community and with that being said, guys, take care and have a wonderful day.